Hello my lovely people, my name is Marina, welcome to my holiday edit channel. White is an island of the south of coast of England and is about 2 miles 3.2 kilometers of the coast of Hampshire. And our day trip started with a short, about 10 minutes ride on the world's only commercial passenger hovercraft. Of course, you can take a long ferry about 2 hours and take your car over, but I couldn't pass on the thrill of flying on a cushion of air above the way. When you buy a hovercraft ticket, you can add for only 5 each an all-day bus ticket. Bus service on Isle of Wight is very good. You can get you anywhere. There are some open top bus routes, but be aware there is no classic as we know tourist hop on hop off bus there. The number one attraction here is a needle. You need to get to Alon Bay to see it. I think there are more people in this little area than in the whole island. At least it's felt like it. We took the slow boat trip and really enjoyed it. This one I highly recommend. It's quick, it's 20 minutes. The weather is lovely and you can see needle a little bit closer. is a row of three stacks of chalk that rise above 30 meters out of the sea and they are called needle because there was a needle shaped rock about 120 feet high and known as a lot's wife but it collapsed into the sea in 1764 with a crash which was said to have been heard many miles away but funny enough it's still called needles Needle Lighthouse was built by Trinity House in 1859, replacing the Clifftop Lighthouse established in 1785 to guide ships. Originally, this lighthouse has a keeper and three assistants. The men were on duty for two months and then on leave for one month. Sadly, the lighthouse was automated in 1994 and we said goodbye to the keepers and his assistant. This lighthouse is full operating now because the needles have always represented danger to shipping, even now. If I be 20 years younger, I will say there is a travel hack for you, but I'm a middle-aged woman, so it's a travel advice. If you don't want to spend an hour and a half waiting in the queue for a cable car, walk down to the beach. It's only about take about 10 minutes. Enjoy your day, lie on the beach, Take a boat trip, look at the sand, and then take the cable car on top. Even Q look very large. It only takes 10-15 minutes to hop on the cable car because you don't have to pay, you pay on the top. It's much, much faster. Right, we waited in this queue and finally it's our turn. And there's where you're going on the beach, down.
there's the path to the beach. From Alon Bay, you can grab a bus to Newport and from Newport to Cowes. Cowes is a fantastic small town located on the very northern tip of the island with a great selection of restaurants, which we took a full advantage of. Cowes is divided to east and south by the river Medina and two towns are linked by the Cowes floating bridge, a chain ferry. <laughs> small fare of £1.50, you can add an extra excitement to your day visit to Isle of Wight. We had a very busy but very great day and it's time to hop on a hoverboat and head home. Mm -hmm.